Okay, as just about everybody who lives here knows, Southwest Florida is known for its wildlife. Love to see this. The Everglades is one of the many places you can experience. And if you do, we do suggest you check out Audubon Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary. It's amazing. Just east of Naples, that's where Nolani is right now. What do you got first for us, Nolani? Yeah, well, first we're stepping inside since it's still a little dark outside, but we've got a lot plan to show you guys. First up though, I want you guys to meet Dr. Cordy. She is the director over the sanctuary here and she's going to kind of tell us what kind of puts the sanctuary on the map. What is this swamp sanctuary known so well for worldwide and even inter uh, even nationally? Right, Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary is really known for its bald cypress forest, so the swamp. So a wetland with trees is a swamp, and our trees are over 500 years old. And so wow. the community here in Naples came together in, in the early 1950s to protect the sanctuary. So we're really known for our, our bald cypress trees, as well as the incredible orchids that we find in these trees. Yeah. Each summer, our super ghost orchid blooms, and it brings visitors in from around the world. Wow, yeah, and I think you, I think you guys have some of the largest. We do. Pop, right, so you guys are pretty. We have a super orchid, and what that means is rather than having just one bloom, it actually has several blooms. Oh, right here. You can get up to seven or eight flowers at wow. one time, and it blooms from July through September, typically, and it really is a testimony to what a special habitat we have here, that it supports these flowers. Awesome, and real quick, I before we have to go, I wanted to make sure people know just you guys stay so busy year-round from conservation to planning events. Uh, what does that kind of those efforts look like? Well we're open 365 days a year and we open every morning at 7 and we take visitors in until 430 and so every day we're open and available for people to come look at birds, see wildlife and benefit from our wetlands. Um, we have planning throughout the year with bird walks every day at 1030 so it's busy here whether it's winter months or summer. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Cordy. And as you can see here, we've got quite the hike this morning. We'll be showing you much more coming up. We're going to talk about some of the programs here, educational programs and some of the upcoming events. So you'll want to see that coming up in the next half hour. But for now, I'm Nolani Matthews. You're watching Fox 4 Morning News.